Hi guys and girls, John Moore back with you again, and this time I'm doing the last of the build updates for the MacAx 6B um, Academy model 135th scale. Um, not 131, in 35 scale, 35 to 1. Um, she's built. Next step now is to, like I said, I'm with these panels here, I'm putting in a kind of a surface on them. It'll be going up here, on the panels up here, along the top. Uh, nothing along here, and then when that sets, prime it, spray it, fill in all the little bits and pieces of things. Um, the top isn't glued on, uh, the tracks aren't in place yet, the tracks aren't, glued, aren't uh, melted. They're just it's just a dry fit just to kind of get an idea and give you a look of what the model looks like before painting what do i think of the kit i think it was a fabulous kit actually um the construction went well it took it took a bit of time because it was loads of loads of small parts and each part had to be cleaned off and um i kind of over did it went a bit overboard in the cleaning off. I, I made sure that each part was absolutely pristine before I put it back on. Um, I really, and I, you know, I decided I'd take my time and I thought the kit deserved it. And yeah, the finished result is is um, quite stunning. I'm quite happy with it. Um, hoping I can do justice in the, pa in the paint job. Um, no problems at all in making of it. Um, although I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner, I wouldn't recommend it for say your first couple of kits. Um, it would it would drive you demented, especially on the um, on the uh, lower hull. All this stuff here, there's loads in there, and you can't see half it, and. It's to, it, it would it would drive you demented. I think I spent about three or four days alone on the lower hull, um, but it, it came out well. Um, it's a lovely, lovely looking model. Um, looking forward to the painting of it. It did come with a bit of extra storage and things that I, you could put in here. A couple of um, big ammo boxes, um, some jerry cans, some water cans, and things. Um, I decided not to use them in this because I'm not going to put this in a diorama. I'm just using this as a standalone, and I'm going to save those bits and pieces. They're handy for dioramas, so I'm going to save them. And speaking of saving things, because this kit comes, um, you can make well not from this kit you can make, but Academy do a um, load of different versions of the M60. They do the M60 Blazer. They do the uh, the Israeli Blazer. They do uh, the ordinary M60 and this, set and the others. So the sprues are shared, as you can imagine, between between the kits. And it comes with loads and loads of spares for your spare parts, bits and pieces. Like there's three different copulas for for it. Um, not that I'm going to use them in anything else that I can think of, but they're handy to have in the spare box. What did come that will come in very handy is uh, two point three Brownings. There's another 50 cal. There's another uh, 60 mortar. You know, these little things, they all add up and they're all handy. As you know yourself, we've, we, we've, we, find, we find uses for them. So my next step, as I said, is the painting. Well, texturing, priming, painting. So the next time you see it, she'll be all painted up. Um, it's a lovely, lovely kit. Loads of... Uh, Fiddly little parts. Yes, Simon, I'm actually enjoying the uh, fiddly parts. Simon made a comment that, that uh, he kind of half left, though I was starting to enjoy the fiddly parts. Like, speaking of fiddly parts, if I can kind of get this all steady, I will. On the copula alone, right, you've got uh, the top one, two, three, four, five, and that's just on the hatch. Alright, you've six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 18 pieces. Sorry, I'm not including them all. 18, 19, 20, 21. There's 21 pieces in that little section there. You know, uh, it's a lot... In a, in, a, in, a, in a small space so you know yourself when you're making things like that, you can't go putting all them on your case and you have to give a time between them to set and stuff before you can go working back in that area again and stuff but it, it, it was enjoyable I, I, I must admit I, I really enjoyed it um, and the finished article is uh, is, is excellent Looking forward to the painting. I'm going to um, I'm going to rattle can spray this, and then finish it off by hand. Um, I can only imagine it'd be so hard getting into proper places and things uh, doing that by hand. The whole thing. Um, I found um, perfect color in Army Painter range, and it's uh, Army Painter. Uh, colour primer army green now if, even though it's a primer it will do as my think my other coat as well um i can highlight in olive drab and things and darken and light and, and between washes and stuff i get it i get it bang on well bang on for me so i'm happy with that um these uh army painter rattle cans i have used them before it's 400 milliliters for 12 euro little bit expensive but you, you, you do get quite a lot and um, with a colour like the green I'm going to get plenty of use out of it even if I'm going to use it as as a primer for an olive drab perfect but um, we'll see how it goes anyway it might need uh, might need something different but uh, until I get an airbrush that's what I'm kind of uh, down to and I don't have really any plans to get an airbrush in the near future, so it's either rattle cans and hand painting. And I enjoy the hand painting. I think you get it's um, therapeutic. That's a nice word for John. Therapeutic. Anyway, lads, uh, that's I'm going to leave you with that. And the next time you see it, like I said, she'll be finished. And then we'll be starting the. Um, the M Group build in August. Looking forward to that. I have my Russian um, TI no IT IT one missile tank. I think I've called it TI a couple of times. Um, yeah, looking forward to that on the twenty third of August. So until then, lads, look after yourself. Enjoy your modelling. Have a nice weekend, and uh, be nice to one another. <laughs>